Hey family, how you guys doing? What's up with it? Today is Friday the 29th of May. We getting ready to ride, we getting ready to talk, I'm going to catch you guys up on some things. I really like this little lip uh, treatment. I got this from um, uh, I got it from Dollar Tree the other day. And yeah, this shit go. It go hard too. Okay. Make sure ain't no booger in my nose and nothing. I'm good. I'm good. All right, y'all ready? Swearing up and down that it ain't me. Still just say that things have changed. Okay. So. Let me tell you what we're getting ready to do. Right now, <coughs> excuse me, I have a house full of kids. Yesterday was the last day of school for my kids. And so my daughter tells me yesterday, short story, okay? Short story, disclaimer, if this ain't what you want, don't watch me on the day. You know what I mean? Don't watch me on the day. This is just some quick come in. You know, update you guys and let you guys know that I'm fine. And, you know, some things I need to, you know what I'm saying, you know, get off or whatever the case. Well, anyway, so my son, my baby, Isaiah, a.k.a. Button, a.k.a. Third, um, graduated um, Tuesday. And then yesterday was the last day of school for um, him and Tioni both. Anthony's last day of school, I think, was last Wednesday. Um, so, anyway, so uh, yesterday my daughter asked me, Mom, can you know you go by? No, excuse me. Let me back this up. Let me back this up because let me tell y'all how my daughter did me. Okay, let me cut the air down because I don't know if y'all could really hit me good or whatever. Anyway, so... What was that? Was that Tuesday night? Because yesterday was Thursday. Wednesday night. Wednesday night. Okay. Wednesday night. For the past couple of days, you know, I've been ripping and running. I've been having a lot of shit going on. Because I'm going on vacation. And so I got to get my home front together. You know, get my house in order. So then therefore my kids can stay here at home. I'm having somebody come in to oversee them. And plus, my son is 18, so he's here as well. But, you know, I'm getting my home front together. So, you know, and therefore, they have groceries and all the bills and shit is paid. You know, make sure shit is in order before I just jet out and, you know, go to Mexico. Well, anyway, um, so, and plus, I'm also getting the house still worked on, right? And um, I'm getting ready to have the house painted. So I had to go to Lowe's Wednesday to go get the paint and all that kinds of stuff. So I had a whole lot of running around to do that on that particular day, right? Now, mind you, Isaiah graduated on Tuesday, so that was a whole day of shit plus, you know, his graduation and all that. And then that was Tuesday. Then Wednesday, I had to meet the guy to go get the paint and all that other kind of stuff. So I had that on Wednesday. Wednesday night, you know, I'm finally trying to, you know what I'm saying, trying to woosah, you know what I mean, I'm, now I'm trying to, day, the day is, you know, it's at the end of the day, I'm ready to, you know, I'm laid down and, you know, put one up, I'm in, you know what I'm saying, I'm in, I'm in the queen's quarters, you know, I'm in my bourgeois and it's time for me to lay it down and relax and release, my, my daughter, come knocking on the door, mom, I need some cupcakes, what, cupcakes, what we talking about right now? Cupcakes for what? What? What's happening, nigga? It's almost, nigga, it's going on nine night. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, cupcakes, what you talking about? Mom, I need some cupcakes in the morning. Tomorrow's the last day. And, you know, I told my fourth period class, you know, I was going to bring some snacks in, you know, and, and all this old type of shit. We're having a little party, you know, whatever. So I was like, okay, you know, I still didn't get the gist of the party thing, but I was like, okay, y'all having a little party. You know, she kind of threw all that together in a gumbo mix, so I really didn't know, you know, I'm thinking, okay, they're having a party at school, yada, 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 you know, what's going on? 
So I told her, I said, Tioni, you know, Kenny was over, you know, we chilling at this point. So I'm like, you know what? Um, I'm not finna go get no motherfucking cupcakes at no nine o'clock, my nigga. Is you for real? I'm not finna go get no cupcakes, not tonight. So I told her, I said, okay, in the morning, what time do you need the cupcakes? Well, tomorrow is a minimum day and we get out at 12, whoop. I said, okay, well, okay. Well, look, check this out. When I get up in the morning, I'm going to run down to Costco or Sam's Club and go get your cupcakes, whatever the case. And, you know, I, you know, and I'll bring them up to the school. I'll have them there by 10 o'clock. Tiani bugging my, bugging my motherfucking ass. She called me from the school about 8 something. Mama, is you going to... I said, hey, look, check this out. I told you I'm going to go get up. I'm going to go get the cupcakes. I'm going to leave them here about 9 o'clock. I'm going to go to uh, uh, Costco and go do this. Family, I get to Costco. How about I get to Costco? Costco don't open till 10, 11, somewhere around there, right? So, you know, I I was like, okay, well, then damn. But, you know, Sam's Club was right around the corner. But mind you, my membership just, you know what I'm saying, just went down on my um, on my Sam's. So, um, my membership, you know, went kapooey, I think on the 25th or something to that effect. Hold on. Yeah, okay, May something. It's not saying the total date on this motherfucker. However, uh, May something of it, it went out. You know what I'm saying? So, I was like, okay, well, damn. I can't get into Costco right now because they don't open to 10, 11. I still got to get these cupcakes and yada, yada, yada. So, um, I said, fuck it. I'm just going to go renew my membership. And I got the Sam's Plus. So, Sam's Plus, I think, is 100, it's 100 a, a year. So, um, so then I get up there, you know what I'm saying? And then plus, um, Sam's Plus was able to come in the dough, I think, like, you know what I'm saying? Um, seven, eight, nine, you know, somewhere around there, you know what I'm saying? They open up early for the Plus and exec members or whatever. So I was like, okay, you know what I'm saying? I'm in the line of gravy, so, you know, I'm winning right now. Let me go in here, go get this, handle the membership, whatever have you. Now, mind you. I usually, on Groupon, Sam's Club usually uh, run a little, um, they run a um, special for $45, and you get the full membership, you get some rotisserie chicken and some other shit, cookies and all kind of shit, coupon book and something other else you get, anyway, for $45, right? Plus, you get a $20 gift card or some shit like that to the, you know what I'm saying, to the establishment. Okay. Boom. It had expired on me, so my Groupon said, I know y'all like, bitch, get to the bottom line. I'm getting to it. Hold on. I, can I give you my story first on how this shit went down? Damn. Damn. I know this motherfucker's like, damn. I mean, like, is we finna hear some shit about Sam's Club and how your transaction went? Yeah, bitch, you finna hear it right now. Calm down. Damn. So, anyway. So, um... So then I go up there to the counter or whatever. So I'm telling her, you know what I'm saying, I got a $45, you know what I'm saying, expired Groupon, good towards the membership thereof. This motherfucker right here just went out. So take the $45 off of the 90, 99 or whatever it was, off the 100 basically. And so she did that. So I ended up paying $55. But mind you, check this out, though. Let me cover up some digits. I have my military ID, so she was like, okay, well, you know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? I'm you know, I'm, I'm talking to her at this point in time. I was like, okay, well, I got my military ID. She said, oh, well, you in business. Okay, I'm going to give you a $25 uh, gift card on top of that. Plus, I'm going to run you some coupons for the rotisserie chicken. And let me see if I got them up. Here it is, right here. So, uh, to validate my claim. So she ran through, she gave me the rotisserie chicken, cookies, and main bistro gourmet, gourmet five cheese macaroni, you know what I'm saying? So she gave me this right here, ran me a uh, uh, $25, what you call it, and then I was talking about, I was like, well, wait a minute, I had some points on here. She was like, well, how many points you got? But at that point in time, she had already canceled out the transaction on the old membership, and I guess she didn't push the, the button that... 
It was supposed to show her on whatever points I had to carry over. But I know the last time I know I had about $5. You know what I'm saying? So she was like, okay, well, since I said $5 out of my mouth, she said, okay. Well, if what you remember is $5, I'm new. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to cancel this transaction because we already got this right here going on. How about I just give you another $5 uh, Walmart gift card? So now you got a thirty, you got $30 worth of gift cards. You got your coupons and all that other shit. You know what I mean? So and then, but I had to pay five uh, fifty-five out of pocket. So, nigga, I called it a win-win. I went on, uh, scanned my car through, and did it like that. Now on my um, Costco, this is my Costco card right here. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, that's your partner. So anyway, so then I go up in there. Man, I was running into all kind of motherfucking goodies. I love, love, love Sam's Club and, 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 and Costco and shit. How about I get to the back? They ain't got no motherfucking cupcakes. My phone ringing. My daughter calling back. Mama, it's whoop, whoop, nine, ba, ba, ba. Um, where you at with the cupcake? I'm like, you know what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, dog. Now, first of all, you asked me for some motherfucking cupcakes last night. Now, I'm jumping through hoops trying to, you know, I'm pacifying and trying to, you know what I'm saying, make sure I come up to the plate on what this right here you got going on. But you supposed to have gave me a one-up about this right here days ahead. When I was down there at Lowe's, I could have I could have double-backed and went to, you know what I'm saying, Costco or Sam's or whatever yesterday. You didn't tell me nothing about that yesterday, but now I'm getting on your motherfucking nerves because I ain't moving fast enough. So bottom line was, um, bakery come talking about, well, we ain't got no cupcakes at this time. You know, we don't have cupcakes at this hour. We'll probably have something about after 11. I said, oh, shit, 11 ain't gonna work. So, you know, I can't believe, first of all, right now I'm tripping that I'm going back and forth with my daughter on a favor that I'm doing for her ass and she done shot me later on, you know what I'm saying? Anyway, so, I hit my daughter back. Yeah, we doing this shit during school hours, Okay. I tell her, I said, Tioni, check this out. My phone about to die. They ain't got no cupcakes right now. I can get you one of these cakes right here. But now you put me in a bad way because now I'm going to have to go get cups and all this other motherfucking shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to have to go get napkin and all that. You know what I'm saying? Paper plate, all that. You know what I mean? So she was like, well, mom, I'll take the cake. I was like, okay, well, I'll, okay, I'll get the cake. Bitch turned around and hip hit this motherfucking table behind me, nigga, and they had these muffins whole platter of muffins right chocolate banana nut motherfucking poppy whatever i guess it was some of them motherfuckers up in there and then they had uh blueberry and some other you know what i'm saying a whole little funny style little platter of them right 28 of them matter of fact now she needed 24 cupcakes so i was like shit this was 14 something i was like okay I'm just gonna go and get this right here, nigga. This was happening. They didn't have cupcake. We ain't had all that. I ain't finna get cake. I ain't finna get uh, Viva paper towel and all that. I ain't finna do all that. Uh, knife and fork and all that. I ain't finna do all that. Uh, muffins it is. I get up to the school. You know what I'm saying? One of the young ladies. Check this out. One of my girls. I went to that same school, right? How about the principal was one of my partners when I went there? Class 89. Stand the fuck up. Okay, so, um, but one of the sisters that work at the front counter, she used to be Tioni's preschool teacher back in the day. So me and her go way back. She actually went to Dominguez High School, class 79 with my motherfucking sister. Me and her still real cool, but she work at my sister's school. I mean, she work at my daughter's school at the front desk or whatever, at the front office. So I go up in there. How about she going to tell me? Girl, you know Tioni done been in here about these motherfucking cupcakes. I said, it. it I said, look, check this out. On Genesis 6, my nigga, I'm about to blast off, for real. This whole thing is about to go kaboom because, first of all, she didn't tell me nothing about all this shit till last night. And now she blowing me up about some cupcakes and all this kind of shit. And she said, and girl, you ain't going to believe right now it's fifth period. I said, fifth period? Well, you, Tina, you know, they get out of school early today, you know. So, anyway... I take her to cupcakes, but you know what I'm saying? At this point in time, nigga, can I take them to the classroom, okay? I want to walk through. Mind you, you know what I'm saying? My my, my kids' friend, uh, friends think that, you know, they mama is one of the funniest motherfuckers ever. So, you know, they always want to, you know, 
come to my house or whatever. Like right now, I'm gonna get on that shit in a minute. Cause I got a house full of these motherfuckers right now. But I'm the pussy ass parent in the car on my way to go get Connie inside of me and shit. Ain't that a bitch? I'm in the car right now to go get motherfucking buckets of nacho cheese, carne asada, chips, motherfucker. Look, check this out. Look, hey, I'm so cold with it. How about these motherfuckers roll me a no? I'm the pussy ass parent though. You know what I mean? Because I'm in this motherfucking car, hot as fuck. How you gonna act like that? All that. You understand me? How about they wrote me a list? Check this out. How about third wrote me a list? Check it. Check out my baby list. Can you can you can you can you dig it? Okay, he got cheese, avocados, olives, sour cream, chips, punch concentrate, apples, beans. He said Mexican for tacos. I mean, mess Mexican for nachos. And he got dish soap. Ain't that a bitch? But he put the dish soap on there, so I guess I gotta go ahead on and oblige. You know what I'm saying? Cause he got he threw the chore in there. You know what I'm saying? That's the softener up on the back end. Tell her I need some shit to wash some dishes with. Okay. You see what I'm talking about? This time my kids do me though. Now, yesterday, now let me fast forward this because we done got through that. Okay. So, I didn't get no call or none of that shit. Oh, mama, thank you for the poppy seed. Woo woo, thank you for, you know, banana nut. None of that shit. I didn't get none of that shit. My daughter and them come home. Now, mind you, I had a, I didn't even tell y'all, I had a 1130 dentist appointment because my chip, you know what I'm saying, got out of compliance again. Now, y'all remember that one time, you know what I'm saying, me and Kitty had, you know what I'm saying, had tied one on that night, nigga. I was feeling so good about my stuff, nigga. We was tweaking. We was, you know what I'm saying, putting one up. And we was, uh, did I say tweak? Excuse me. Let me just go and take that out of there because I know motherfuckers be like, wait a minute, I knew that bitch was on dope. No, excuse me. We got cards around this part, okay? So, yeah, I think we was on that tiki. They got some tiki. Tiki sour or some shit like that, but we was on that little tick. And uh let me tell let me tell you something. We was doing that and you know what I'm saying, plus and we, you know, I I don't drink, but you know I had a couple of sips with my dude that night. Fucked around, woke up the next day, motherfucking tooth was chip. I said, What the fuck didn't happen, nigga? What the hell you do to me? You know what I mean? Well, the same thing happened again. And I'm like, damn, nigga, do you hit me in my motherfucking 57, nigga, while I'm fucked up? I'm trying to figure it out. Because the grill was fucked up again the other day. So I was like, okay, you know what? I don't know what it is about whenever we blow and have a drink to go with it. The next, the next motherfucking day, some shit be out of compliance. Every time. I don't know what the fuck that be. So yesterday... <coughs> After coming off of that chill that me and Kenny was chilling the night before, she coming in talking about some cupcakes, nine some, while we getting ready to, you know what I'm saying, tie one on and chill and kick it. We on a door hour at this point in time. Next morning, tooth came out of compliance. So I had to immediately call my dentist yesterday morning. It was like, well, Tina, we can get you in at 1130. I was like, okay, let me go take care of this with my daughter, and then I'll be back with y'all by 11, 1130. So, mind you, I had some running around to do yesterday. So after I handled my daughter, came home, took a shower, went back up to the um, dentist, handled that. I get home. How about I get home? I got 50 left motherfucking kids in my house. It's after school. Everybody out of school last day. Everybody parlaying. I come home. I got niggas with motherfucking gold tees. And, I mean, these little boys got facial hair nowadays. Trip me the fuck out. These little boys had little board shorts on. You know them little Hawaiian little board shorts and shit. Them little surfboard, little, you know what I'm saying, Scott Bayo motherfucking shorts on. Them niggas had that on. One motherfucker had little little whiskers and shit. And little taco meat couple of little whiskers. I said, look at this motherfucker. What's going on? So... You know, I called Kenny up. I said, babe, you ain't gonna believe this. I come home. I come home to a house of motherfucking kids right now. Everybody jumping in on the deep end. Ain't nobody signing on parental slips. Nigga, we got all kind of shit going on at the Ponderosa right now. So, Kenny was like, oh, well, you know, well, what, you know, what you want to kick them out? I said, well, nah, I don't want to kick them out. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I just kind of wish somebody would have told me. You know what was going to take place at the pad. 
You know, when I got home, nobody told me nothing. She didn't text me no nothing. Mama, can I bring my friends home from none of that shit? I didn't get none of that. Well, last night Kenny come in, you know what I'm saying? And he was like, um, you know, baby, how you doing? Bob blah, blah, blah. You know, we you know, we kicking it and shit. So he was like, Well, um, you know, the weekend is coming up, you know, you need to go, you know, go get some, you know, snacks and stuff for the kids. Check this out, girls. You see this nigga done got some act right? This nigga was like, well, here, I'm going to give you some coin to go get some, you know, some carne asadas and whatever, you know what I'm saying? Well, he didn't say carne asadas, but he said go get some snacks for the kids because, you know, for the next couple of days, it's probably going to be some kids here because last night there was so many kids here last night. So I was like, okay, well, you know, because I was like, well, you know, um, I don't know if the kids going to stay tonight or whatever, but I, you know, need to go get up in, in the morning, go get some, you know, milk and cereal and whatever the fuck else, whatever we don't have in here. I don't know how many of these girls are staying tonight. Of course, the, of course, the little boys had to go home, but the little girls, I didn't know how many were staying tonight. So this morning I get up, I come in the front of the house, you know what I'm saying? How about third? Sitting on the motherfucking couch with his t feet and shit all kicked up on the ottoman. And another little chicken strip sitting right here with this nigga. And them niggas is drinking my motherfucking coffee and shit. And them niggas was in my hazelnut. What part of the motherfucking game is that? Listen, let me tell you something. Nigga, before I can even get it all together, I just, look, hey. I was like, okay, this young lady, she had her little robe and shit on, you know what I'm saying? These niggas is kicking it. They kicking it. They sitting up, TV on and shit, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what the fuck they was watching. Look like it was some, you know what I'm saying, on-demand movie type shit. Them niggas is kicking it. He got coffee, you know what I'm saying? Everybody else sleep, okay? I just come to the front to come get me a cup of coffee. I run into these motherfuckers. These motherfuckers parlaying, but see, wait a minute. This Tioni friend, though. That's what got me tripping. Now, her, she's in Tioni's little 10th grade. You know what I'm saying? They going to 11 next year. But you sitting up here parlaying and posted up with my, you know what I'm saying, with my 13-year-old. You know what I'm saying? He going freshman next year. Hi, Miss Tina. I just looked at this motherfucker. I was like, wait a minute. And Isaiah was like, what's up, man? Wait a minute. Y'all motherfuckers talking to me like I done just came in from outside. This is, I mean, is this what we doing right now? I'm just trying to figure out, is this what was, is this what's happening? Oh, my God. I went off on Isaiah. I was like, you know what, nigga? Um, show your girl that you can get up and get some chores done, my nigga. While you sitting up here parlaying and posting up on the side of the house, I need some shit taken care of over there. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to get the house painted. I need you to uh, go on the side of the house on my side and rake up all that shit over there on the side that you done threw over the goddamn gate and you know thinking that I ain't know nothing about it but see the other day when the guy came in or came over to come do the square footage of the house y'all guess what look check this out okay when the guy came over to do I know this is just flipping the script or whatever but when the guy excuse me came over and do did the square footage of the house my house is um t over 2800 square feet now when I first Excuse me, when I first bought my house, it was like, I think like 1,600 square feet. So I've added 1,100 square footage to the house. Um, 900 square feet, I added to that to my bedroom. And then I had my daughter's room built on. So that add that extra 200 and whatever, or 400 or whatever, you know, whatever that was, 200, whatever, added on to her. And we kind of configured, knocked some doors, knocked some walls down and all that stuff and added on to her room to give her, give her her own little room too so she has her own little room that's um it's tiffany inspired with the tiffany teal colors very beautiful you know what i'm saying uh, yeah she she all right but in her room i go and knock on the motherfucking door how about i open up the motherfucking door it was so many little girls up in that motherfucker you know what i'm saying i was like okay wait a minute what's going on nigga i seen about four motherfuckers on the floor and about three or four motherfuckers in the bed now i didn't want to say nothing i'm gonna table this to another time you know what i'm saying but uh i didn't see nothing out the way but uh nigga it was four motherfuckers in the bed 
And about four or five motherfuckers wrapped up all over the floor and, and palace and shit. So, yeah, we're going to discuss that at another motherfucking time. I just, you know what I'm saying, I just need to get my balance and my bearings on that on, you know what I'm saying, what's, what's happening on all that right there, okay? So then, as I'm going off on Isaiah, my daughter comes in. I tell her, I say, okay, well, Tioni, look, check this out. This is what your chore is. Your chore is I need the bathroom clean <coughs> and I need the windows um, cleaned in the den. The windows to the to the to the French doors and the windows to the um it's a big picture window. I need those windows clean. So I was telling her, I said, Well Tioni, I I got Mama, my friend wanna talk to you on the phone. I said, Okay, I'll get on the phone, some little old nigga. Um, Miss Tina, um, can we come over and go swimming today? I was like, Yeah, you can come over and go swimming. Okay. Now, you know, my daughter already knows she can't have no boyfriend until she's 16. I know I'm going on and on and on, but you know what I'm saying? Just let me have this right now because, y'all, it's just on my heart. So, uh, anyway, so a while ago, we get a, uh, uh, me and Anthony in the house, you know what I'm saying? Because I had already was like, at this point in time, you know, I need to feed all these kids, you know what I'm saying? Because I got all these girls. And so... You know, Isaiah busts up by him graduating. He was like, well, mama, you know, get us carne asada, you know, nachos. I said, okay. You know what I'm saying? He the graduate. You know what I'm saying? No problem. You know what I'm saying? We get a knock at the door. The girls, they already, you know, outside getting ready to go swimming. Just a few minutes ago, y'all. It's 1.01 p.m. right now. This all this happened within an hour ago. Okay? I get a knock at the door. I come open up the door. How about... About six long-legged ass niggas is at my goddamn door. Hey, Miss Tina. Hey. You know, everybody want to come in. They want to hug me at the door. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking like I'm looking right now, so I was half-ass decent. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, Miss Tina. I was like, hey, come on in. Um, Excuse me. Uh, What's, it, what's happening on all this right here? A message has been received. What we talking about? What we got going on? You know what I'm saying? Because, uh... Yeah, so, and uh, my son, Isaiah, now mind you, once again, he just graduated from the 8th grade. He's going to their school next year. We came to come play the game with Isaiah. We gonna, we gonna go swimming. Them niggas had, I said, where's y'all towels and shit at? Oh, well, we didn't know we, excuse me, you didn't know we, yeah. So, I had my daughter put a load of um, towels in the washing machine because I bought extra towels for when people come over and go swimming and ain't got no towels. So, I had to wash those towels from last night, put them in the washing machine. And uh, Isaiah wrote me a note. And so, now I'm on my way to Smart and Final and to Food for Less to go get what is needed to make these nachos, carne asada nachos. My baby graduated eighth grade, going into the ninth, freshman baby, third, and uh, mama's on a mission. So, y'all, y'all ready to go take this ride for me? Can, now that y'all caught up on what's going on in Tina's house as of right now, right now, y'all ready to go? Come on, let's go. We got to go to the store. Holla.